Good morning. Today is Friday, April 19th. I'm Korva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. A U.S. official says Israel has launched a missile strike on Iran overnight. Iran has not confirmed this. Iranian media say an unknown object was shot down over the city of Isfahan, and there were no injuries or damage on the ground. NPR's Rob Schmitz says the strike comes after other exchanges between Israel and Iran. This is apparently the latest escalation in what has been a tense tit-for-tat that began when an airstrike, which Iran blamed on Israel, killed two Iranian commanders in the country's embassy compound in Syria, April 1st, then followed by an unprecedented missile and drone attack that Iran launched on Israel last weekend, which was largely intercepted. NPR's Rob Schmitz reporting. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was questioned by reporters last hour about the strike. He would say only that the United States was not involved in any offensive operation. Congress is another step closer to voting on a foreign aid package that includes funding for Israel and Ukraine. As NPR's Barbara Sprunt reports, this comes after lawmakers cleared a hurdle late last night with bipartisan support. The Rules Committee has traditionally operated as an extension of the Speaker, and legislation is usually advanced in a straight party line vote. But to advance a foreign aid package, Democrats took the rare step of joining some Republican colleagues in voting yes. Three Republican members voted against the rule, in part out of anger that assistance to Ukraine wasn't paired with border security provisions, as Speaker Johnson had previously pushed to do. The rule will now head to the floor for a full vote of the House. Very Various pieces of the package are expected to pass with bipartisan coalitions this weekend. Barbara Sprunt, NPR News, Washington. Jury selection resumes today in New York for Donald Trump's criminal fraud trial. Twelve jurors and one alternate are seated. Prosecutors and Trump's defense lawyers must choose another five alternates. Two seated jurors were excused yesterday. One of them said she feared she would be publicly identified. March was the 10th month in a row of record-breaking global temperatures. That's according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. NPR's Rebecca Hirsch reports that is the second longest streak ever recorded. Global average temperatures in March were hotter than any previous March going back to 1850, scientists say. The previous nine months set similar records. This 10-month streak is the second longest on record after a 13-month streak that happened in 2015 and 2016. The cyclic climate phenomenon known as El Nino is partly to blame. Heat records are often set during El Nino conditions, when the water in the equatorial Pacific is warmer, driving up temperatures worldwide. That exacerbates the larger warming trend from human-caused climate change. The current El Nino cycle is waning and is expected to end in the coming weeks. Rebecca Hersher, NPR News. You're listening to NPR News from Washington.